James Packer's Sydney Casino is a step closer with the final concept plans unveiled today. The Barangaroo development will feature a $1.5 billion high roller venue and hotel that will tower over the harbour. After years in the planning, it might be hard to remember what Barangaroo used to look like. Now we see what it will finally be. Well, we're definitely hoping this is if we've been working on this for a long time. Concept plan number eight revealed today has at its heart James Packer's crowning glory, a glass tower, combination casino for high rollers and hotel. If approved, the structure will be our second highest after Sydney Tower. It's a far cry from the controversial first version, a hotel jutting out into the harbour, forced back to the drawing board by the state government after a community outcry. Well, if there's one thing we've learnt uh, off Barangaroo, there are a lot of different opinions uh, as to what should be here on the project. But we continue to listen, we continue to respond. Moving the casino hotel out of the harbour itself forced developers to consider almost 200 different proposals before they came up with this final concept. But even this will take many months of public consultation before it gets the go-ahead. The new hotel adds more rooms, lifting potential tourism at the site by 80 per cent. The significance of the tourism in terms of what's going to come out of the Crown proposal much greater than what was envisaged when Barangaroo was first proposed. The Crown resort design is part of a final plan for Barangaroo South, including new apartments and entertainment zones, in addition to the office towers already under construction. We're going to have 1.6 million extra people here in the next 20 years. We need to rethink how we make our cities and this is a great example of what's possible. The new concept plan will go on public exhibition shortly. Eddie Meyer, 9 News.